Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpentex Special Forces, and in this video, I want to go over a new feature that a favorite website of ours, at least in the crypto mining community, um, whattomine.com, has added to their website. And before we go into too, too many details, what I want to talk about is custom GPUs. Now, of course, it has our tried and true favorites, right? It's got the new 3000 series, it's got the 10 series, the 20 series. Uh, it's got the new 6000 series for A and D, uh, 5700, 5700 XT, so on and so forth. But it doesn't have every single GPU. And since GPUs are becoming harder and harder to find, who's to say that you can't take an older GPU, like for example, the GTX 760. Uh, this is the MSI, MSI Twin Frozer uh, GPU, which is a mining capable card. Maybe not as profitable as some, some of the newer generations, but it is still a mining capable card but it's not on what to mine so what can you do well with this new feature it now allows us to add a custom gpu and we can actually set parameters and everything however you're going to need to create a login uh, when you click on custom it would take you to this page and if you don't have already uh, the the capability of signing in you could always click on do not have an account sign up it's very simple plain jane just like any other account creation you just go put in your information password whatever and it's going to send an email in which you need to click the verification link if you have trouble there is a link right here didn't receive my confirmation instructions but once you have it set up and signed in you would see all the various gpus that we've become all too familiar with but not every single gpu for example on the 6000 series, the rating on 6000 series, we do have the 6700 XT, the 6800, and the 6800 XT, but we do not have the 6900 XT. As well, you can see that the cutoff for NVIDIA has also stopped below the GTX 1050 Ti when we used to see 750 Ti and so on and so forth. So a lot of the older generation cards have fallen off the default map. Some of them are still on there but not all of them and I want you to know that with this custom GPU it is going to be up to you to kind of configure and tune and identify what the hash rates are for the various GPUs but to add a custom one is really simple yeah we can choose from some of the predefined ones here or we can click add in the upper left hand corner we could give it a name say uh, GTX 760 and then we could choose to manufacture NVIDIA or AMD now in, what's interesting is I would like to see whattomine.com, if you're watching this video, in the future add Intel. Because with the Intel uh, dedicated or discrete graphics cards coming out in the future, we're going to have to account for those as well. And I'd be interested to see that added not only in this list, but hopefully when you guys get the GPUs or if I can present any data to help you guys out, we also add those Intel cards. I know this top section is getting a little bit full. But that would be very interesting uh, to see and I think will be very useful for the miners to have. But you can see all the various algorithms that you can input your information for. Autolycos, uh, Kryptonite GPU, Fast, Heavy, Kryptonite R, all the major algos are there. Now, unfortunately for a card like the 760, which is a 2 gigabyte card, you may not be able to mine Ethereum because the DAG files and some of the algorithms may be too big for our 2 gigabyte GPU to handle. However, there are other cryptocurrencies or other algos in which your GPUs can mine on. So, if you come to whattomine.com and you're just like, hey, my GPU is not listed on here, yes, you can manually enter in the hash rate for Zhash and the total power draw and so on and so forth for all the different ones out there. But I would say set your own custom one up because I think that's very interesting. I'm going to start utilizing it. I'm not going to test the 760 just now, but I do have older gen cards that I'd be interested to see what they're hashing out now in 2021. And if you're interested in that, please let me know down in the comments below what you're interested in. I do have a few old, old, old cards, but uh, they're not profitable now. But we can still at least get the hash rates and everything for them, some good data points on them. But if we enter in the, su the supposed hash rate for the 760, and we're just going to use better hash right now. Uh, for example, 9.82 mega hash. And I don't know how old this article is or how recent it is. But let's just say that we can get 9.82 mega hash at, um, I forgot how many watts it was pulling. I'm just going to guesstimate here. But don't count it as Bible. The cool thing is, is you test everything all the various algos, get the hash rate, get the power draw, 
and then you could hit save. Once you're done doing this, you can actually, it will be in your custom configuration, right? And you can always go back to it here in the top left and update, edit, or whatever you need to. Why is this useful? Well, again, because the GPU market is as crazy as it is right now, older GPUs may be something that a user can turn to, even though it may not be as profitable as a 3060 or some of the later gens, it's something that they can still participate, help secure the network, help mine, um, and, and start stacking those sats, so to speak. And the fact that what to mine has added this feature, which I have not seen on any other crypto calculators uh, yet, is very interesting to me. And I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of that. And that was the whole point of this video. So I do not have all the numbers for the 760 yet. I used to, I can't remember where I stored it. It's not on Reddit like I, I post all my other GPUs. Maybe I'll do one in the future. But I have two of these, which I can run in SLI. Not really good for mining, but more or less for gaming. But it'd be interesting to see how these perform in 2021. I know a couple of gaming reviews out there that retested this graphics card in a 2021 configuration, but we haven't really seen much in a crypto configuration. And again, just because you don't have the GPU that might be listed in the defaults of what to mine, they now at least give you the capability to sit there and input your data and save your configuration, your hash rates and all that stuff. And then you can just simply go to the main page, input that information and identify what the profitability is for that card. Especially if you bought an older gen card, you could even calculate the hardware costs and all that and to really find out where your break even is. And the only reason I'm bringing this up again is because GPUs are hard to find and you might get lucky and find an older gen uh, GPU. If I were you, I would recommend a four gigabytes or above card. Um, soon the DAG would be too big on Ethereum to for four gigabytes to, to be able to help out, or excuse me, not six gigabyte cards. The, the GTX 1060 is next on the chopping block. I, I misspoke there. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Subscribe for additional content like this. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and check the description for useful links, including a link to dojo.com where you can get sweet Serpent X merch and much more from many of the crypto content creators. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.